Saturday. It is October 5th, and today is a very, very special day in this household. What's so special about October 5th, you ask? I will show you what's so special about October 5th. Follow me. Exactly one year ago today, look what was going on. We got married! Today is our very first wedding anniversary and we are super excited about it. It was the day that I took on the most generic surname <laughs> in all of North America. <laughs> no, Lean is, uh, Lean is my maiden name, Smith is my married name. I'm still deciding on whether or not I am going to legally change my name to Smith. Anyway, who cares about that? You don't care. Um, but today is my very first anniversary, uh, wedding anniversary, and we were very happy about it. Obviously, we've had a very good and very momentous year. Uh, I can't believe it's been a year already. Like, this is just, this is craziness! Craziness that we've gone through a year already, and this time, one year ago, I think I was getting my hair done and uh, getting ready, and we had such a fabulous wedding. Oh my gosh! Um, here, I'll show you a little bit more. I won't. I won't go crazy because really, do you guys care? Uh, my mom is a scrapbooker, and she really outdid herself with this scrapbook. Um, that's my mom right there. Hi, mom. That's my dad. That was taken moments before I stepped on his toe. Um, he took his shoes off and I was wearing, let me show you. I was wearing, oh, you're not, these shoes. Here we go. These shoes. <laughs> and I told him he needed to put his shoes on because I was gonna step on his toes and I totally did. And there's actually a beautiful, it's not in here. But there is a photo that was taking, taken like the moment I stepped on his foot and the look on his face was, it's one of my favorite photos. Anyway, my mom is a big scrapbooker and this is probably the biggest project she's ever taken on and she totally outdid herself. I mean, look at this thing. It's ginormous. It's huge. And it's she only finished it like two weeks ago. So she, she finished it in time for her first anniversary. So I'm just taking out some time this morning to look through it. And um, we had such a great time. We had a slight movie, um, movie theme to our wedding because both of us are big movie lovers. And we just had a lot of fun with it. Like we really did. We had so much fun with it. So I'm just, I'm looking through it today. And uh, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alan just went off to work just for a couple of hours, but he's coming home and then we're going to a fancy pants restaurant for dinner tonight. It's a place, a place called House of Moments here in Toronto and it's actually more of a concept restaurant. It's, it's like an art gallery lounge and restaurant. It seems to be more Japanese and Asian inspired. So we're going to be doing that tonight and then we're going to, we're actually not doing anything too crazy after that. We're going to come home because after that, in, here in Toronto, is an event called Nuit Blanche. And it's every year uh, they have artists come into the city, or local artists as well. And they'll put up installations and art throughout the city. And you can go for free and bring your family. And it, and it goes from sundown to sunrise. And transit's all free and you can take your family and, and whatnot. So it's, it's, it's a really cool idea. Alan and I have been once really wasn't our bag, mostly because it is so busy. And when we went, I have this much claustrophobia, <clears throat> just a little bit. It was too much for me and I needed to go home. We thought we were gonna stay out all night and we didn't, we were home before midnight. <laughs> it was, there was just too many people. So we're gonna by bypass all that tonight and come home and, uh, and, and just hang out with each other and probably look through the book again and, uh, and you know, enjoy our first anniversary as a family. So that's really exciting. Uh, other than that, before he comes home, there's not too much going on. I have a little bit of yoga I like to do today. I like to do uh, a bit of prenatal yoga on Saturday mornings, just because I always keep wanting to 
put in some stretching into my weekday, uh, into my my routine, and it never really happens. So now I'm I'm forcing myself to do it at least on Saturdays for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to do that today. That's my workout for today, and then tomorrow I have the day off, and then we start all over again. So I'm going to do that. And then I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm super excited because I'm going to put together a house cleaning schedule. Uh, we're not dirty people at all. We, we tend to keep a, a clean home, but it's still, I'm not a fan of doing all my cleaning all at once. I'd rather not. I'd rather do a little bit every day, but I don't always do it every day. So now I've decided I'm going to actually sit down and make a schedule for what to do on Mondays, what to do on Tuesdays, just little bits here and there. And I'm going to uh, make a binder out of it. I don't care if I do it or if Alan does it. I don't care who does it as long as it gets done. So today I'm actually going to make that schedule so we can start to stay on top of things because I'd like to get this into a routine before the baby's born uh, so that things just don't go too to haywire at that point in time. So I'm going to make that schedule today and do a little bit of cleaning before Alan gets home because once he gets home, I, I wanna shut down and just be with him for the rest of the evening. So that's what's gonna to happen today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go finish my coffee, look through the rest of the scrapbook, and then I'm gonna get my yoga on, shower, and uh, and get on with my day. And yes, I'm still on my iPhone. Alan took my phone again today. <sighs> Anyways, hopefully it's not too bad. I decided to turn it the other way this time because the last time it was just bars on either side. So hopefully this will work out better. All right, anyway, I'll chat with you, chat with you later. Bye-bye. Just finished up my yoga workout. This is how everybody always feels after doing yoga, and this is why we do yoga. <laughs> I always have to remember how nice it feels when I'm done. Um, I think yoga is one of those things that a lot of us bypass because we don't think it's really, it's not burning any calories, or depending on the type of yoga you do, right? For me, I like to do I don't like to go too strenuous strenuous with my yoga because to me I see yoga as a treat to my body. It's like a thank you to my body because I put it through the ringer five days a week doing my cardio and strength training. So when it com comes to my flexibility training, I like to thank my body by treating it gently and so I like to do a lot more gentler yoga. And the one I do, I'll actually put the link up in the notes below because it is a YouTube video. It's about 28 minutes long. It's specifically for pregnant women. And it just helps to open up the hip joints and, and the lymphatic glands and all of that other kind of fun stuff just to connect you with your baby and to prepare your body for labor. And uh, it's, it's a really nice video. It's a little cheesy at times, but the narrator, she just sounds like such a kind, gentle mom. I love listening. I just close my eyes and just do what she tells me to. She's so good. So I'm feeling really good right about now. I love this. And now that I'm done, I'm going to have a shower and I'm going to tackle my, um, I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up and then I'm going to start to make my, my weekly house cleaning schedule and binder. I'll show it to you when it's all done. It might not be all done today, but I have big plans for this binder and I think you will really enjoy it. So I'm gonna get off my butt and do that and I will talk to you later. So we're getting close to Alan coming home from work and that's when I'm gonna call it a day because I would like to spend the rest of the evening with my husband. But it's been a really good day so far. However, I have to say that I didn't even get started on my, organize, uh, my weekly schedule, my cleaning schedule, because I didn't realize how little time I had today. The day is just zooming by so, fa so fast. And my priority was getting ready for this evening. So uh, once I finished my, my yoga and I, I had I'd showered and changed, it was I needed to head out the door because there was a couple things that I wanted to pick up. And by the time I got back, um, I just wanted to tidy up the kitchen and living room area. And now Alan's supposed to be home within the next 30 minutes. 
So I don't have much time. I don't have much time. But I did want to show you what I did. He, Alan has no idea I did this. But when he comes home today, you know what he's going to walk into? <laughs> I'm so happy. We've got some candles. I even picked him up some roses and his presents. And I, we have a cupcake to split. This is a hazelnut cupcake. I am... I'm pretty proud of myself. I think that, see, let's just back up here. When he walks in the door, other than my computer will be completely out of the way, that's what he's going to see. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's nice. It might be a little girly, but I know that deep down he will enjoy it. He will totally enjoy it. So that's really exciting. I wanted to get some red roses because the red roses were the uh, flowers at our wedding. But I actually picked them up at a convenience store and they had red roses there, but they were, most of them were dying already. So I picked up the white roses, one of which was just dying, but they weren't overly expensive. And I went in and the woman actually gave me a discount on the roses just simply because one of them was dying. So I almost said to her, well, in that case, there's, there's a bunch of red ones out there that I really had rather like. But I didn't because I thought it was really sweet of her to to do that for me. So that was really sweet. And plus she was also really, really uh, happy that I was actually doing this for my husband. She, she got a bit of a kick out of the fact that I was buying him roses instead of the other way around. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what's happening. And he should be home within the next half an hour. Um, and then yeah, we're going to go out for dinner. Like I said, we're going to this place called House of Moments. And, oh, two things, two things about that. One is my trick when I go to a new restaurant is I always, 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 sorry, I just wanted to see if that was Alan or not. It's not, okay, good, we've got time. Um, if it's a new restaurant that I've never been to, I always look for them online. Most restaurants have a menu online. And so I've already looked it up to see what I wanted to have for dinner tonight that was relatively healthy. Turns out it's like a Japanese Asian inspired place so a lot of it has a lot of fresh food so I'm really excited to go. Uh, it seems pretty healthy. And the second thing was actually about the cupcakes. I had planned on buying two cupcakes. This is from a place, sorry I'm being, uh, okay. So I, th I thought someone was here but it's for next door. Um, I had actually planned on buying two cupcakes today and it wasn't until I was on my way to the bakery that I decided to actually just buy one cupcake. The reason is, is I've been really, really good nutritionally this week and Alan, this is his first real week of retracking his food and working out and I didn't want to sabotage that by getting two separate cupcakes because the cupcakes are really big. You've seen the size of them. They're not tiny little things, they're huge. I've had them before. And although they are vegan and gluten-free, it doesn't mean that they're healthy for you. It, they still are a treat. So on my way down, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get one cupcake. We're going out for dinner tonight anyway. Tomorrow is my day off, and it's the day that I get to treat myself to some more, some more treats. So I made, I made the decision to only get one cupcake, and we'll split it before we go out for dinner. So really... That's when it comes to willpower and discipline. That's what you've got to do. Both of us could easily polish off two of those cupcakes because they are so, so good. But in the end, do we really, you know, are we going to feel better about ourselves after we've polished it off? No. We had a really good week so far. We want to end the week well. We're already going out for dinner, so we're already indulging. So I just wanted to make sure that we stayed on track for the rest of the day and then tomorrow we can have more of a treat. That's what you gotta do. Sometimes even if you don't wanna do it, I didn't wanna do it, but I'm doing it because we have goals and that's what you gotta do when you have goals. You have to compromise. So that's what we're doing. All right, I'm gonna call it a day and I hope you guys enjoyed your Saturday and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.